Amy the Crab Girl. While talking to her, you learn that she loves to wash things. She crossed the ocean by herself. And she misses her mom despite uh, having grown up without parents. And that her bubbles are good for the skin. Her trait is Bubble Novice. Can always use ocean skills. Innate Slime Strike 50%. Skills using bubbles have half SP cost and deal deal 30% more damage and put the user into a guard state. And she has increased stats of Soapy as in the main party. Soapy being the adult crab girl who this one insists is her mom. So that's a nice bit of synergy there, the innate slime strike. Uh, will put them into slimed easily, and bubbles deal pleasure damage, so that's extra damage from the bubbles, which already are increased in strength at, at reduced cost. Not only that, they put her into the guard state, which with the right setup can make her a very tanky build. So all that is some nice synergy that goes together. Yeah, with so much synergy going on, I think I'll have to put it at A. That's a very good synergistic uh, skill for her. While playing around, she snaps boards with her pincers. She crab walks. She cheers the party on, which does nothing. She withdraws into her shell, increasing her own defense. And she creates bubbles. So that's a purely positive trait. We have to put it at B. As for her story interaction, she doesn't have much, so put her at C. In the pocket castle, she'll talk to Sully. Wow, it's a crab! It's a shrimp! <laughs> Amazing! You can make foam even though you're a shrimp? <laughs> bubble, bubble, bubble. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Alright. For her presents, she likes sweets and rice, but does not like fruits, vegetables, meats, or bread. Interesting interactions include the chili pepper. Get spicy! The crab. Wow, what happened to this kid? Let's play together. Tofu? Is tofu delicious? It's okay. Seaweed? Yay, I love seaweed! Curry powder? What is this powder? It's spicy! The Connie Pond. Wait a second. There's a crab inside this bread? It's a good thing it wasn't inside it. The crab omelet. <laughs> crab! Why are you doing this? The Gian stew. <laughs> the wedding cake. Wow, what a big cake! The parfait. Parfait, parfait, parfait! Cola. Fizzy, fizzy bubbles. Coffee. Bitter. Beer. I don't like alcohol. Any of the grilled items. 
That's not happening. Cicada shell. I don't want insects carbs. No, oh, that's not what this is. I still don't want poison mushroom. I'm a crab, so I don't eat mushrooms. Skull. Eek! Weeds. Weeds. Munch, munch. Wait, I can't eat these! Beetle. It's a bug! Ow! Eh, it's horn stuck to me! And last but not least, the Chi Papa. Is this kid a spirit? Let's play together! Grab, grab, grab! Gigi, the electric catfish girl. While talking to her, you learn that she can use earth and lightning skills. She is a hundred years old, and she acts like she is super old. Her trait is electric catfish. Can always use ocean and nature skills. Plus 20% to counter rate. Deals 30% earth and lightning damage. Nature skills use willpower instead of magic. And counter attacks with aqua electric discharge. So while those are a lot of nice benefits, they don't really have any synergy. The counter rate and special counter attack makes her better for a monk build, but the extra earth and lightning damage, along with nature skills using willpower instead of magic, make her better as a healing build. So while it gives her some nice versatility, it doesn't synergize too well. So, we'll put her at B. While playing, she sunbathes. She shoots electricity, which damages an enemy. She causes an earthquake, which deals damage to the enemy. She'll preach, and she'll fall asleep. Well, that's a mix of positive and negative, so we have to put it at B. As for story interactions, she has a quest all to herself, and also she has a Promestine quest where she can actually become a spirit, which makes her more able to use uh, more nature skills. So for that, we'll put her at B. In Pocket Castle, she'll talk to Milk. The world sure is big. There are even fish who are slimy friends? Mm, well, um, nice to meet you. Is it alright if I come play at your place? You really shouldn't. You'd melt in the sea. As for her presents, she likes fruits, vegetables, and rice, but dislikes meat, sweets, and bread. Interesting interactions include the chili pepper. I don't like stimulants. The fish. And like when I was young, I don't eat meat. The eel. Eels and I are pretty similar. Sushi. I don't like meat, but I love sushi. Kids meal. I'm not of the age to be happy with a kid's meal. Broiled fish. I don't eat meat, 
But it looks good. The Gans, too. I can see the Sanzu River. Or when she sees the River of the Dead. The Wedding Cake. Congratulations! But I'm not fond of sweets. Beer. Don't let old people drink. It'll start fights with those words. Any of the grilled items? What is this? Fishbow. Don't make fun of old people. The poison mushroom. This is a poisonous mushroom. I'm old enough to know that. Skull. Why are you showing me this? Is it some kind of Zen teaching? Beetle. I'm not of the age to be happy with catching beetles. And last but not least, the Chi Papa. It's rare to see a spirit. Go on, run away. Domain Mirror, the unfortunate mermaid. Never fight her, so you never talk to her. Her trait is unfortunate mermaid. She's targeted only at Korra's, often by enemies. Can always use merchant and ocean skills. Merchant skills have half gold cost. And there's a 3% chance that she'll just die during her turn. So while you can run an insurance scam to just keep having her die to get more money with the insurance policy, it doesn't work well with how little she is targeted by enemies. Plus, none of her skills have really much of combat uh, effect. It's all about just saving money. And of course, having a party member that has a chance to just die, we're putting that skill at F. While playing, she will ask for water, she'll give you fish, she'll give you sushi, she'll become on the verge of death, and she'll use the water bullet skill. So that's purely positive effects, so we have to put her at B. As her story interactions, outside of a handful with the unfortunate friends, there isn't any. So, see. In the pocket castle, she'll chat with Mimi. W water. Be strong. Mimi is here now. Water. Oh, you want a drink of water? Will my mucus work? <laughs> it's too viscous. <coughs> <coughs> Uh, somebody! W water! She will also talk with Amira. W water. M money. W water. Uh, m money. Uh. Are you mocking me? Whoa, you can talk! She also interacts with Pihar. Oh my! Are you doing well, Demamir? W water. Speaking of fish, I could really go for some sushi. I want some yakitori. As for presents, what can I say except water? So there's very few items she'll give anything except that reaction to. Interesting ones include fish. My friend. An eel. 
I've never considered eels, my friends. Flower. <coughs> Milk. Gold. I would prefer fresh water. The salmon bagel sandwich. <laughs> yeah, just no reaction. Yakitori or the roast chicken. Mmm, delicious. The Gian stew. Are you still there? The Taiyaki. My friend. No, oh, it's not. Any of the Dongos. Munch, munch. The cola. Gulp, gulp. I live again. Beer. Gulp, gulp. Ah. And the grilled items. Fishbone. Ah! The poison mushroom. Coo -coo -coo. Coo -coo -coo -coo. The beetle. Ouch! Hey, it's uh, hitting me with its horn. And last but not least, the Chief Papa. You're interrupting my business. Could you leave? <laughs> <laughs>